So some of the common questions I've been getting in the live streams are around what should you be doing to your lawn this time of year now that the main cutting season is over and that if you have warm season turf, your grass is starting to go into dormancy. What are some things you should consider doing and what are some things you shouldn't consider doing uh, this time of year? So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna talk about everything from things you should be applying to your lawn, things you shouldn't be applying, uh, as well as some other tips around like maintenance that just makes a lot of sense to get done uh, this time of year. You know, this time of year with a Bermuda grass lawn, uh, the lawn's starting to go dormant, as you guys can see. I've still got some green here and there throughout the lawn, but for the most part, uh, the lawn is starting to check out. It's starting to go to bed until next year. So. Given this time of year, what's one important thing that you can be doing that's gonna set yourself up really good for next season? And really that comes around soil testing. You guys know I'm a huge fan of soil testing. So if you've never done one before um, and you just are thinking, hey, is this a good time of year? Is this the first time that I should consider doing one? The answer is, is yes. Main reason being is that by getting a soil test, one of the things you're gonna find out is what nutrient levels are in the soil as they sit now. And also you're gonna learn a lot about pH, right? pH is one of the things that a lot of people don't really consider uh, when it comes to um, getting the most out of any fertilizer or other products that you apply to your lawn. And by knowing where that is now, uh, it's gonna allow you to take steps you know, during the off season to, to help correct some of those problems. So thing one, thing that you should consider doing this time of year is a soil test. I've already got mine done uh, for the fall and um, you know it gave me a lot of good insights as far as how the products that I applied to my lawn over uh, this past season did. Um, and you can do the same for you as far as getting ready for next season, for next spring. So let's talk about something you really shouldn't be doing regardless of what your soil tests tell you. So let's say you go out and you get a soil test done and it says, hey, your nitrogen levels are low, your potassium levels are low, um, you know, and you, you're thinking, okay, well, if they're low, I should go ahead and try and fix those now. And really, fertilizer is something you really want to be applying to your lawn when the lawn, when the, the, the grass is actively growing. This time of year, doing a heavy fertilizer app can actually cause some, some issues. As much as I love Humic Max, you guys know this is my fertilizer of choice, the one that I recommend, the one that I use on my lawn. Um, you know, even if your soil test results come back with saying, yeah, your soil is lacking nitrogen or lacking one of the other macros, now really isn't the time of year to do that. Really, um, information on that level, you should just file away and know that, hey, when March rolls around or April rolls around, I'm ready to start, you know, applying my, uh, doing my, my fertilizer apps. I know what I need to be feeding the soil, but now isn't the time of year to do that. One negative that can really come out of doing heavy fertilizer apps and now when the grass is dormant are really two things. I say one, but really two things. One, you're really just wasting the product because the grass isn't really actively growing to take advantage of it. And then second, you can start causing conditions or creating conditions that can cause issues with fungus in the spring, like spring dead spot. It's something that I've dealt with um, this past season, which is why this year I really backed off on the fall fertilizer apps just to prevent um, any chances of having spring dead spot uh, in the spring. So thing one, definitely consider um, do not um, do any kind of heavy fertilizer apps this time of year. You can definitely load up on fertilizer. You know, if there's any good deals on it, feel free to buy it, put it somewhere in a cool, dry place and you're ready to go for next spring. But I would not be putting it on your lawn uh, at this time of year. Now, something you can do and something that I um, have been doing this fall, I'm about to do my, my last app for the year, is a preventative fungicide. So what I've got here, is a product from Syngenta, it's Headway G. Uh, again, like I was telling you guys, this past spring, I had some ears with spring dead spot. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's when your lawn comes out of dormancy and you know the grass is growing green, everything looks good, and you have a few like circle, like you know, 10 to 12 inch size um, areas of your lawn that are completely dead, right? They're just circle areas that are dead for no apparent reason. And what that is, is caused by a fungus problem that starts now and really doesn't manifest itself. You don't really see it until springtime. So one way to help prevent that or to get rid of any um, fungus problems that you that could be starting this time of year is to use a preventative fungicide. Um, I really recommend two apps. I've already done one app this year, or this fall already. So in early October, I did one. And then um, now I'm about to do my second application. Again, I, I used Headway G um, in both cases. Some people like to mix it up, they like to alter it. You may try a different fungicide if you have access to that. But Headway, because it has um, both propiconazole and azoxystrobin in it, I find uh, this, this works well and, and should give me a pretty good result as far as preventing 
spring dead spot next year. So something you can do um, if you're just trying to be super safe and, and prevent issues with fungus um, issues in the spring is to get down to preventive fungicides. So soil testing, yes. Heavy fertilizer apps, we're gonna say no to that. And then a fall fungicide application, a uh, great idea as far as preventing issues with, um, with fungus in the spring. So now something else you can also consider too, is our lawn equipment, right? So, you know, most of you guys, I would imagine, have a mower, perhaps a real mower. Uh, you've probably got a string trimmer or some kind of power tool. Um, and now is a great time, if you don't do that kind of maintenance yourself, is a good time to send your mower out to get it sharpened up, get you know, an oil change done, get it all freshened up. Because you've got to figure, around springtime is when the shops um, that do that type of work are going to be loaded up. They're going to have everybody bringing their stuff in, and it's, it might take you several weeks to get your equipment back. But if you have, um, you know, if you've got the uh, the time now, I'd really recommend um, taking your equipment in, getting it all sharpened, get it all freshened up, get it put away, uh, so you're good to go for next spring. So I just want to share this with you guys really quick. Hope you guys are finding this useful. It gives you something to do in the off season. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, that are, are lawn care nuts. You you love applying fertilizer to your lawn. You love just being out there mowing, and it's not a time right now to be able to do that because the grass isn't really growing, right? But these are some tips that you can do that are gonna get yourself all set and good to go for next season. Um, you know, enjoy the time off and, and just, just realize that spring is only three or four months away. It'll be here before we know it. And now's the time to get yourself all, all set up to, uh, to be able to do that. I will have links in the description for everything you see here. So as far as um, uh, the headway, the, the fungicide, I'll have um, both a link in the description of where you can pick this up and also a video that goes into excruciating detail of how to apply it. Same thing for the soil test kit. Uh, you can get these at this golf course lawn store, but I'll have a video in the description um, that shows you how to go through collecting the samples, how to mix them up, how to send them out, all this jazz. And uh, I don't have anything for you on mower maintenance because I don't do that stuff myself. I send it out to professionals and let them take care of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me over this season. Uh, it's been a, a really awesome watching a lot of you guys' lawns uh, really just blossom and just do really well. And I am, I am privileged to have been able to play a very small part in that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the weekly live streams and I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time. Take care.